Hello, all you big, beautiful brains out there. Today, we're gonna talk about violation of expectation. Before we get started, take a minute to subscribe to Psy vs. Psy. Help out your friendly neighborhood psychologist while I tell you all about violation of expectation. If you've ever surprised a baby and seen them make a face like this, it's probably because of violation of expectation. Violation of expectation is a technique for studying infant cognition, which uses the longer length of time a baby spends looking at a surprising event as opposed to a more predictable event. But why do babies stop and stare? And what does it mean when they do? When we see something surprising, even as adults, sometimes we have to stop and stare at it for a minute. For instance, when you see a magic trick for the first time, or a really confusing optical illusion, or whatever this thing is. New information surprises us, especially when it violates the way we predict for an object to behave. If you saw a car speeding towards a wall, you would brace yourself for it to crash. But if that car just kept going right through the wall, defying physics, you would be surprised and you'd stare at that wall or at that car trying to figure out what just happened. One very smart psychologist took this natural tendency to stare at surprising things and used it to help us better understand how the human brain works and develops in infants. Rene Bayer-Jean studies the development of cognition in infancy, so how babies learn about the world. In an attempt to better define, or maybe even upend, a commonly held theory of infant development by psychologist Jean Piaget, Bayer-Jean wanted to show that infants did have a fundamental understanding of how objects worked and moved much, much earlier than people assumed. Bayer-Jean developed a procedure to demonstrate the idea that babies did have this fundamental knowledge of how objects worked. Her process, put simply, goes like this. First, you show the infant the same thing happening over and over, say, putting a toy into a blue box. Then, you show the baby something surprising, maybe even impossible, like pulling that same toy out of a red box instead of the blue one. It seems like a simple enough procedure. You show the baby one thing over and over, the baby gets used to things being that way, then all of a sudden, that thing is shockingly different. What's important is how the baby reacts. Because the baby will show that they are surprised by the switch, by staring longer at that surprising thing. When the toy all of a sudden appears in the red box, instead of being in the blue one, the baby will stare at the red box like they just can't believe it. In fact, violating expectations can actually lead to increased learning in older children too. A study published in 2018 compared two situations where three to six-year-olds paired brand new words with either an expected or an outcome that violated their expectation. Now, it's important to note that these were brand new words made up by the researcher just for the experiment, but the kids still learned made up words better in the violation of expectation condition. I'll make sure to link this study down below. As far as entertaining science goes, the study is amazing. Cute kids at a science museum, magic tricks, there's even a toy called Miss Bunny. <laughs> Hats off to the researchers on this one. If you want to know more about Piaget and some of his original theories of development, make sure you click on the link to see our video. If you want to know more about other ways our brains learn, make sure you subscribe to Psy vs. Psy so you can get all of our other videos and you can learn all about the science of psychology. Until next time, keep thinking, and I'll see y'all later. Bye. So why would I make a joke when I can just show you some cute surprise babies instead? Okay, that's, that's a surprise baby. That's a cute surprised baby. Okay, very surprised baby. Very, very surprised cute baby. <laughs> oh, that's a smart surprised baby. 
that baby's probably subscribed to Cyber Society.